Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and I'm the maker behind Designs by Lisa. Today we're going to be working on a super cute Halloween DIY project. It is inspired by Hocus Pocus. We will be making the Sanderson sisters and a spooky looking but yet cute cauldron to go with it. All of the materials that you're going to need for this project will be listed below. First we're going to start with the pumpkins. I taped off the insides where the black parts were and then I took them outside to spray paint them. The colors I'm using are gloss grape, sun yellow, and real orange. So you don't have to be super precise for this step. You do want to get pretty good coverage though and you don't have to spray paint your pumpkins. I did because I wanted them to be the colors of the Sanderson sisters. Make sure you get all the way around the pumpkin, but don't worry about the bottom. Next, we're gonna take our pumpkins inside and just remove the tape. You can see that as I'm removing the tape, I'm kind of removing some of the black that was already on the pumpkins. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna take care of that next. It is a step that you can skip if you want to, but some of my paint did bleed also, and I didn't really like that look. So like I said, since some of the paint bled and some of the other paint came off, I am going to paint the inside of the eyes and nose and mouth with some black acrylic paint. Again, this step is optional. You don't have to do this. I'm just a slight perfectionist and I want everything to look perfect. Uh, I am speeding through this part because it did take me quite a while. All you need is just some regular black acrylic paint and I used like an angled paintbrush because that helped me get into the little corners and everything and I got really good coverage with that. Once you're done painting the insides of your pumpkins, just go ahead and set them aside and let everything dry completely before we move on to the next step. Okay, now we're going to move on to actually assembling our witches. So first you're going to start with your tomato cage. Just flip it over. You want the spiky sides pointing up. Take one of your pumpkins and, and remove the handle off of that pumpkin because it will get in the way. Here I am just attaching it with some hot glue, which I don't really recommend because after I got these outside and they sat in the sun, one of them actually did pop off and I had to kind of take it apart while it was still in my front yard and fix it. Um, if you do use hot glue, I recommend getting the super sticky Gorilla Glue. All I was just, I was just using something from the dollar store. I was, it was cheap and yeah. So anyway, we're just going to attach those pumpkins and then set them aside so they can dry for a little while. And then while that's drying, I'm going to put the trash bag on the other pumpkin and this is going to make it look like the body. So that pumpkin that we just glued onto the tomato cage is actually going to be like the upper body and I am just cinching that around the middle there with some pipe cleaners that I got from the dollar store and you can use whatever you want there. Um, zip ties probably would have been easier but then I wouldn't have been able to take it apart so easily so I just used what I had. This part doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want those corners to stick out because they will be arms later. Right now, all I am doing is just gluing the face pumpkins to the top of the other pumpkins. You do want to keep the handles on these ones because that's actually what the hat is going to sit on 
later on I do end up attaching those with hot glue anyway so that's up to you if you want to be able to take the hats off though because I did put some lights inside the heads uh, you you probably want to attach it in a different manner so here I am opening up another garbage bag and I am cutting it down all of the seams and I'm cu essentially cutting it into two pieces and then I'm taking one of those pieces and cutting that into two pieces lengthwise and then I attach one to one of the arms on the witch and then tied a knot in the middle so that looked like the hand and then I attached the other one to the other arm so it looked like they were holding hands and all I did was just use some more pipe cleaners there. So here I am taking a piece of wood. This is just cheap particle wood that my dad gave me because he has a bunch of it left over from something and I am wrapping plastic table covers around it. I wrapped it twice. You don't necessarily have to do this but I wanted it to be black and I didn't want to like paint it or anything. This is the base that the cauldron is going to sit on. So again this step is optional. If you're not doing the cauldron you don't have to do any of this obviously. But I wanted the cauldron to sit on something so this is what I chose. Now, here I am painting the handles on the cauldron. This isn't necessary, it was just an extra step that I decided to take because I was bored, I guess. I don't know. But uh, if you do decide to paint them, just be careful. Make sure that you wait for it to dry before you touch it because I actually ended up touching it by accident and I wiped a bunch of the paint off. And just a heads up, if you keep hearing little bells in the background, my cats are being crazy right now and one of them keeps jumping in my face while I'm doing this voiceover, so that's fun. So anyway, like I said, I am painting those handles. Don't be like me and rush through it because it was essentially a pointless step at the end because like I said, I, I wiped a lot of it off. So here I am attaching the cauldron to the piece of wood with just some screws and then my camera died so I didn't show the whole process there now I am just filling the cauldron fill it with whatever you got I got some foam from something that came in the mail and then I get I have like a hundred thousand chewy boxes so I just use that fill it however you want you don't have to fill it even it would be really cool to put like a smoke machine in there and have like the smoke coming out that would look really awesome so, like I said, I just filled it. Now I am covering it with plastic bags that I flipped inside out to try to hide that label a little bit. Uh, I don't know why I put them on there first before gluing them down. I, I guess I was just trying to get a feel for what it would look like. But here I'm just hot gluing plastic bags to the top of that to kind of make it look fluffy, I guess. Um, I want the cauldron to, to look like it's bubbling so that's what I'm trying to do here and like I said I flipped those bags inside out none of that was really necessary because I end up covering it anyway but anyway so I'm just gluing those bags down it doesn't have to be perfect I'm basically just trying to cover that box and make it look fluffy Okay, so when I'm done with that, I actually take it outside and spray paint it. This step is 100% unnecessary because I am going to be covering it with this green like spiderweb stuff and you can't see the spray paint at all, like not even a little bit. <laughs> so it was totally pointless. And then you can see that I kind of put some of that like sparkly tinsel stuff on there. That was also pointless because you can't see that. And I just got some twinkle lights from my Christmas tree stash. You, I, Maybe you can. I could not find twinkle lights anywhere right now without paying a ton of money. And I just wasn't about that life. So anyway, so I just put the twinkle lights on top. I kind of arranged it 
so it would be exactly where it needed to be when I took it outside to plug it in. And then now I am just covering it with that green spiderweb stuff. I got that stuff from the dollar store. Um, they had a ton of it right before Halloween, but I feel like every Halloween anything was sold out before it was even October. So I'm sure you can probably find it online also. If I can find it on Amazon, then I'll link it down below. I'm sure it's probably there. So I'm just kind of tucking it in and wrapping it around those lights, just trying to cover all those bags. I bought four packs, but I ended up only using three. Um, I probably could have put the last one on top, but I didn't want it to be too opaque because I do want those lights to kind of sparkle through. So that's just what I'm doing here. I do end up putting those those uh, spiders on it later. I hate spiders, so I wasn't planning on using them, but it kind of made it look cool. So here I am using, gl not glass, plastic clear ornaments that I got from the dollar store last year. Um, I, I did go to Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago and they were already putting out their Christmas stuff so you might be able to find them now. Um, otherwise Hobby Lobby probably has some. So these are just like smaller ornaments that I'm just gluing on there. And then in a minute here I'm going to add some bigger ones too. I think these ones were considered large. And these, I just wanted them to look like bubbles. I wasn't really sure what it was going to look like, but it actually turned out pretty cool. Alright, so next I'm going to be wrapping some orange LED lights around the bottom of the, the cauldron there. I got them off Amazon. I wanted the string to be black and the lights to be orange, so I was looking for something slightly specific. Uh, and I got a pretty good deal with, on them from Amazon, so uh, I was planning on covering them with spray foam and then spray painting it and making it look like like ashes and coals, but I felt like it didn't need it. After I wrapped it around there, it actually looked really good, so I just left it as it was. Uh, that is something that you could do, though, if you wanted to. That's the main reason why I wanted to put it on a piece of wood was because I was doing that. But then after I wrapped the lights around it, I actually liked the way it looked like that. So I decided to just skip that step. And here it is, all done. Uh, I'm really happy with this project. I love the way it turned out. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask below in the comment section. Um, make sure that you follow us on all of our social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!